Now, just now we have discussed about the preparations of phenols. After that, we have the chemical properties of phenol, where we will discuss about the reactions shown by the phenols. Now, first reaction we will discuss about is that reaction of phenol in the presence of zinc dust, wherein what we get is when you react phenol with the zinc dust, you get benzene. The next reaction of the phenol is basically with the acid chlorides. Now, if you use acid chloride in the reaction, then we use pyridine as the solvent. And if you use acid anhydride as a reagent, then we use concentrated H2SO4 as the solvent. Now, what will happen is, we have phenol, we have RCOCl. So, actually RCOCl is a carbonyl compound and phenol has got the lone pairs. So, these lone pair will function as a nucleophile and therefore what will happen is we will get first of all the attack of the lone pairs of phenol on the carbonyl group. So, therefore the intermediate formed will be this which you can see it on the screen now. And in this case, because Cl is a good leaving group, because Cl is a good leaving group, so therefore, what will happen, it will move out and hence it forms phenyl alkanoid. Suppose you carry out this reaction with CH3COCl, with phenol in the presence of pyridine, the product formed will be phenyl acetate or IUPAC name is phenyl ethanoid. Now, this phenyl acetate can also be prepared, you know, when you react phenol with with acetic anhydride that is CH3 C double bond O O C double bond O CH3 So again the same situation the lone pairs on the oxygen atom of phenol will attack on the carbonyl group of acetic anhydride So what will happen is this intermediate is being formed, which you can see it on the screen. Now, in this intermediate, again O minus will form a double bond, and because this CH3CO phenol we have is with the acid chloride that is RCOCl in the presence of pyridine and it forms phenyl alkanoid. So, basically we get the ester formation in this case. So, what is happening is that H of phenol and Cl of acid chloride is being eliminated. So, therefore, we get the product as phenyl O C O R whose name is phenyl alkanoid. Similarly, we can have the formation of phenyl alkanoid when you react with when you react phenol with acid anhydride, but this time 
it is in the presence of H2SO4. So therefore, again the product formed is the phenyl alkanoid and we have RCOOH that is carboxylic acid as a byproduct.